Welcome back everybody, so this is going to be the act for tutorial. Uh, if you saw the previous one, I just want to let you know that I'm redoing it. I didn't really like how I had it, so I'm going to go ahead and redo it a little bit. So first thing is, if you have a mercenary, just go talk to Tyrael. If you do not have a mercenary, come back to act two really quick. Grab yourself a mercenary. I like to get a defensive one uh, that's pretty high up there. And then additionally beyond that, you can now get rid of your cube. You no longer need your cube. Stamina potions are irrelevant. And I am going to want to have eight spaces right here so I can buy a pike. Note I'm not getting a poleaxe or one of these things, a spedum or whatever it is. I'm getting a, pole, a, a pike. And I want you to look at the damage difference between like this and that. Right? Massive damage. Massive damage. Um, so, I give this, and I give it to my mercenary. And I can come over here and I can fill up one more time on some potions. And then we can continue on. So, what I want to show you, the first things I want to show you. Hi, Doomy. How's it going? Good to see you. First thing I want to show you is these are set maps. Now, I can already see these maps, but if I could not see these maps... So do I have I beat Act 5 with her yet? I don't think I... No, I have not. If I had not uh, seen these, it does not matter because these are set maps. So down here is going to be your first exit. And then if it's not in this bottom left corner, it's going to be in either right here, this bottom right corner, or right there, right? So when I come out of this area... This is either going to be over here or over there. First thing I do is try and teleport to the left. And half or a third of the time, you'll see an exit right here. And you're, boom, already in the Plains of Despair. If that is not the case, I will instantly just teleport on this diagonal as such until I get over to this corner. And then I can look right here. You know, I can do it in either order there or there. I'm just showing you. Right here would be the exit. And if it's not right here, then the exit is going to be right here. That is 100% always going to be set like that. Now, the second place is the Plains of Despair. And this also has set exits. So once again, this is something that a lot of people um, don't quite realize. But it also has set exits. And I will go ahead and show it. I've created a paint document. Um, and this is a different character, so it's a different map. But these four possible exits that you can see right there... Those four possible red circles are where your exits can be in the Plains of Despair. They cannot be anywhere else. Nowhere else can you have them except for those red circles right there. So a lot of people don't quite know that. They think, oh, it's just anywhere around the edge. And they'll just go and they'll teleport around the entire edge, right? Until they find the exit. That's not the case. All you have to do is go look in your little spaces. You can just teleport on kind of a square or a diamond shape. Um, between all of those circles, and one of them is going to be the exit. So you'll note that on the top right, it's kind of in the center. On the top left, it's going to be up towards the, the very top there. The bottom one is very much near the bottom, and then that one on the left is very much near the left corner. Um, so you just kind of note that whatnot. In this case, it looks like we have the bottom exit. Oh, Ryu, thank you very much for the host, man. Do appreciate that. How's it going? How was your stream? So I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> exactly. It's nice to learn these things 10 years into the game. Um, I get the waypoint, and then I come down here to the River of the Flame. Now, the River of Flame, all I want to do is teleport straight up to the right. And I just want to try and go as far up to the, to the right as I can. When I hit a wall, if I hit a wall, sometimes you won't. <laughs> That's right, Ryu. Hello, YouTube! If I hit a top right, no, you're fine. If I, hit a, if I hit a wall and I can't go any further, I'll teleport up or down based on which way I see it. If I do not, then I am going to just go until I get the River of Flame waypoint and then get that waypoint. Um, one thing to note is if you come to an air section, one way is probably going to lead towards the forge. The other way is going to lead to a, a just end. That's not always the case, but a lot of times that is. You'll know you're going to the forge when, you get your, when your quest log appears, right? So if I'm going, oh, I just got hit by like the fire or something. Um, you'll know though, because the quest log will appear, that means that you are headed towards the forge, you want to turn around and go back the other way. So anyways, this is how it looks. 
Note, I'm just teleporting, and once again, this would be a case of, okay, now I have to make a decision. I would have got my quest log. I've already killed him, so that's why I don't have that. But I decide to go like this until I can come back and go this way again. And sure enough, here's our waypoint, right? So, now the thing that I would like to talk about here is I want you to note, I want to get where these are on dark places so I can kind of show you. These right here are two little sections um, that are going to be entering into the Chaos Sanctuary. So these are very important. All right, Ryu, sounds good, man. Have a good sleep. These are very important. There's always two sections. So each one of these is a unique section. Okay, that right there and that square right there. There are, I want to say, five different kinds of them. All of them will go, most three of them will go to the top. So you'll want to go left, left, up like that. One of them will go straight, which is this one, and one of them will go to the right. So the big, the big key that you want to look for is, is there this big space right here? If there is, you're going to want to go to the right. If there's not, you're going to want to go to the left, unless you can't go to the left, such as on this one, in which case you know it's straight. So it's kind of like a little logical deduction thing, right? Um, so I'll go ahead and show you, and we'll try and clear out some monsters in here, maybe or something, maybe not. So what I like to do is um, run up to this edge. When you run up to this edge, you can see whether or not there is kind of extra space back there. So you will know by running up to this edge, and this isn't on a sorceress, by the way. On a sorceress, you just teleport through the whole thing. Um, but on any other character, so what I'm uh, getting at there. So you'll know running up to that edge if you need to go left or right. In this case, you just go right, you go all the way right, and you have the long way up. Then on the second one, you once again will go up, and you'll note that there's only this to the right. So when there's only that to the right, hey, Ad Zikowski, thank you for the follow. When there's only that to the right, then you will go take your right, and then come back around here. Um, don't go all the way right, of course. So if there's just that one way to the right, you'll do this and then you'll come up the center. And of course, the last case is, if neither one of those cases exist, you go left. That's it. That's that, Those are the three cases. And you go all the way left, and then you'll run up these side pieces, and it'll always connect back. So those are the three things you want to note. Um, and that's the end of that. Then you'll get to the front of the Chaos Sanctuary. And here, of course, you'll just want to note that you're always going to have these two, excuse me, these two uh, kind of puzzle pieces shapes like this so you're always going to have a short side and a long side you'll want to note that when you're running right because a lot of times on other characters of course you'll be running through here so you'll be like oh no oh no please don't kill me please don't kill me yada 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 and you'll be looking for like where can i where can i just get past okay short side there i got past so now the now these short sides gonna be on the other side okay i checked the long side it's got some stuff there now i'm gonna come over this way all right, both sides are gross. So now I'll try and like drag everything out, you would say, you know, I'll drag it all out. I'll kill some guys. And then I'll now run around and go through short side. And you know, okay, once again, there's more stuff. So I would just keep doing the same thing. Um, so I'm just gonna teleport past because I'm a sorceress and I can, but that's gonna be the general um, way to enter the Chaos Sanctuary. So for this next bit, I'm actually going to um, do a little bit more of a show rather than tell, and then I'll talk about it afterwards, or a little bit before and a little bit after. Um, so the initial before that I would like to talk about is the order of events. With a lot of characters, you're going to go Infector, then Decise, and then, uh, what's, the, what's the guy's name? Grand Vizier. Um, so you're going to go in that, that sort of order. With the Sorcerers, I like to go the opposite way because you need your Mercenary for, um, for, the, for the last guy or for uh, Grand Vizier. Um, and since you will probably already have him, then you might as well go ahead and just use him now because Infector will kill your Mercenary. Uh, so I, I like to leave a Star TP. I head over here. And then I, as soon as I land, I will just start using my Novas because I just want to catch everybody in that um, in that Nova stun lock, right? And I have to actually clear out both sides for this because if I do want to like go to the other side or something, I like to have that option. So you press that seal first. This seal is going to open it. And with each character has to handle Grand Vizier a little differently. 
But for a sorceress, it looks something like this. All right, so I want to Frost Nova everything. I want to make sure I'm giving my mercenary health pots. And he'll actually do the killing. Uh, but, I, but I just sit there in static, right? So now I have my mercenary. And I can once again just go on to Decise. If I want, I can start here first and kind of clear out a little bit of space for myself. Come up here, and then, of course... So, you want to get your Merce pretty much on top, if you can, of uh, Grand Vizier, because he's going to do a lot of the damage. And it looks like he keeps getting distracted here, which is unfortunate, but... We're still able to kind of kill those things in a decent amount of time. And I'm going a little bit slow for explanation, but this is the general thought here. Once again, kind of want to kill some things. I always kind of want to get that last seal because you want to have it where when you kill that final boss, that's it. That's all you have to do. How's it going, Fox Die? Um, so once again, my Merce is going to rip here. That's just the story. Um, of how it goes. He just doesn't survive this. And with this last boss, you can kind of drag him. So so almost every character is going to... Wow, I'm going to die. <laughs> oh, that was a, that was a sad death. Um, so you don't die there. But that was a very strange death. Uh, but yeah, so, so you kind of want to just drag him around. And, uh, and then just use your statics. And do I not have... I have okay fire res. Um, statics and Novus. So we'll just finish him off here, hopefully soon. There's a lot of guys getting in the way. There we go. So you want to get him up to that front row, and that's something you have to kind of make sure is happening. Like you'll see here, once again, he, he kind of went into hiding a little bit there. Um, you, you have to make sure that he's going to actually be up there. Static does a percentage of health, which is why it is so good. Um, so then Diablo, once again, each person kind of handles Diablo in their own manner. Um, for the sorceress, you just want to make sure that you really avoid his lightning, and that's every character. If he hits you with his lightning, you're basically dead. Right. You can see how fast that tanks my uh, my health. So, just want to get him down to an appropriate amount of health. And then we kill him, right? So that's kind of a very simple um, kind of guide through Act 4. Once again, each character is going to be character dependent, right? E each run is going to be kind of character dependent. But they all kind of follow a similar flow. Um, hopefully that gives you a lot of ideas about the maps and getting there. Uh, and then it really just depends what kind of character you're playing for how you have to clear the Chaos Sanctuary. But uh, that should be good for Act 4. So I will see you guys later in my Act 5 um, video. And hopefully that should finish up all of normal tutorials. Thank you all for watching.